Welcome to another broadcast of Cracking the Wealth Code. This program comes to you with the kind compliments of Pitch Deck 101 LLC out of New York. Now, to learn more about Pitch Deck 101 LLC, I encourage you to go to our website, which is pitchdeck101.org. On today's program, we will be talking about sales communication ecosystem. Now, there's a particular reason why we want to look at this particular topic. You see, the success of every business depends on visibility, reach, and impact. It depends on client conversion. It depends on the ability of setting the stage where you are able to, uh, you know, ensure that you can command attention, peak interest, arouse desire, move that client into action build confidence, trust, and credibility. But to achieve all of this is not automatic. Understanding sales communication ecosystem is what makes it, makes this so much easier for you to understand. I must also emphasize this. What is being proposed as the sales communication ecosystem is vastly different from any tool that sales professionals are using. And I'm going to explain why. In the traditional sense, when you're trained to sell, you are trained to basically understand the value proposition in the product or, or service and to position that product or service in front of a client. Whether that client is an ID client or not, your responsibility is to make that sale. From the sales communication ecosystem, it is vastly different. In the sales communication ecosystem, you will learn the various elements that makes up the ecosystem. We call them elements or organisms. All right. You need to understand these organisms if you really want to position your business and your brand to be successful. One of the first organisms that we talk about under the sales communication ecosystem is better referred to as the absolute buyer data markers. Now, in the brief, the absolute buyer data markers enables you to collect sensitive data, analyze sensitive data, and leverage sensitive data it really helps you to understand and make the larger than life impact on your ideal client. When I speak of accessing, analyzing and mitigating that or leveraging sensitive data, the data that I'm talking about is the demographic data, the psychographic data and the geographic data of the ideal client. Now in doing business, you need data, you need information. It's not just about making a sales pitch. You need to know who and where you're making that sales pitch. And first of all, why you're making that sales pitch to that particular demographic group. So the sales communication ecosystem really helps you to dig in deep into these concepts and to be able to apply these techniques to achieve the highest degree of impact. As we talked about early on, when you apply the SCE with the highest degree of professionalism, when you become the sales communication professional, this tool, this first organism helps you to better command attention, to peak interest, to arouse desire, to move the client into action to convert clients and to convert first-time clients into lifetime consumers, to build confidence, trust, and credibility in the eyes of the users, in the eyes of the public. And this is so vital, all right, so vital. So this is a brief synopsis of organism one under the sales communication ecosystem. My word is to use that if you are building a business and building a brand, 
that you don't understand this organism, all right? You don't understand the sales communication ecosystem. Your business is likely to struggle, all right, to cash flow maximize. Now, the second organism that I want to talk about is what we call the sales communication objective. Now, what is the sales communication objective? What is the objective of sales? Now, you want to be known, you want to be liked, you want to be trusted. Your personal or corporate brand is going to go through a process where the public will make an assessment whether they know enough about you to invest in you or whether they like you, first of all, to start invest in you. Or whether they know enough that they can trust your value proposition is going to deliver upon their expectation. It's going to deliver up and perhaps perhaps above their expectation. So in the sales objective, you really want to take the time to understand how to position your corporate or personal brand in the known. So we call this the known factor. We call it the light factor. We call it the trust factor. How do you position your personal corporate brand to get through all of this? Now, to help this process to go through very smoothly, we introduce our clientele base to a concept that we call the influencer model. Now, it is your ability to learn, apply, and master the influencer model that will also set the stage to fast track the know, like, and trust that will get you into that part where you can now confidently make that sale. So the ecosystem that is being introduced to you, the sales communication ecosystem, the SEC, the, the SCE process is very unique when you want to bring your business to that stage where you are commanding attention, peaking interest, arousing desire, moving the client into action, converting first-time users into lifetime customers, building trust, confidence, and credibility in the eyes of the public. It's a process. Understanding the ecosystem really helps you to understand a step-by-step -step approach that you can use to achieve the objective. Again, I'm happy to say that we at Pitch Deck 101 LLC out of New York we have developed a very unique thesis, a very unique book that we call Mastering the Sales Communication Process. And this ecosystem, this book is really being developed to help businesses to fast track their growth, to help businesses to build stronger brands, brands that has relevance to not only the local market, not only the regional market, not only the national market, but international markets. This is a beautiful uh, thesis that we have built out here, and we are so excited to introduce this thesis to the business community across the world in 2023. So today, I just want to give you at least a brief in terms of what the sales communication ecosystem represents so as to help you to start getting some idea of what this is all about. Now, before I pull the curtain down on today's program, I'm going to quickly walk you through uh, some of the other organisms that the sales communication ecosystem represent. Under the SCE, you will also learn about what is the sales process. There's a process to sell it's not just getting up and going to make that sale. You need to understand the process of sale. Um, who are you selling to? What are their needs, wants, and expectations? What are their pain points? Um, what are their motivators? What are they, the, the location? Uh, you need to understand the range of these things to be able to achieve the sales objective uh, more smoothly. So we will talk to you about the sales process. We will talk to you about how you need to prepare yourself emotionally, mentally, uh, physically um, to be successful with that sale. Uh, we will talk to you also about the communication process. There's also a process to communication. There's a sender, there's a receiver. But what about the feedback? 
Uh, what about all of the other mechanisms that you want to know about? Do you want to ensure that you have fair control over the entire process to measure the level of performance, the level of, of growth? Do you have clear KPIs, key performance indicators throughout this entire process? You want to know it. In the ecosystem, the SCE, we will also talk about the pull factors of sales communication. The pull factors of sales communication is a very unique approach in uh, stimulating a positive public response and reaching that point where you have the, the know, like, and trust, where you have already built up you know, a fair degree of confidence, trust, and credibility in the eyes of the public. So the pull factors of sales will really help you to understand how to achieve command over this entire process. We also talk about the next organism, which is referred to as the push factors of sales. Traditionally, when we talk about the push factors of sales, we are talking about random selling. We are talking about impulse buying. Uh, while it is important, the, the push factors of sales plays a very important role in the entire sales process. Um, we talk about this from a different perspective because we have seen the significance, more greater benefits in terms of using the push factors of sales. The push factors of sales, the pull factors of sales rather, is very data driven. You're able to collect data, you're able to store data, you're able to analyze data, you're able to leverage data to your advantage. In the push, push factors of sale, it's different. There is hardly any data when you are pushing the sale. But in the method that we have designed the push factors of sale, we create the opportunities for there to be data aligned to that entire effort. Now, think about this. You're leveraging either the push or the pull factors of sale, but you are clearly aware of who you're pushing to. You are aware of their pain points. You are aware of their psychographic motivators. You are aware of their geographic locations. And you're using this combined knowledge in how you're introducing uh, your corporate or personal brand to be visible, to reach the ideal client. You're using this database. I want you to think about the level of effectiveness that you, you're likely to have here. It is not, you have, what you have done when you do this, you take data, you leverage it, you have simply removed the blindfold from your eyes. Um, hard sale has their usefulness. But hard sale is more effective when you know who you're selling to, when you understand the pain points of who you're selling to, when you know where they are located, the people you're selling to, the ideal clients, you know where they are geographically located and you know exactly how to get there. Uh, the data significantly optimizes the results. So. There is so much more to talk about in the sales communication ecosystem. Today, I just at least want to give you a general overview, a high level overview of what is to come over the next few days and weeks and months uh, ahead of us. Um, we are now introducing this content because we believe it can have tremendous impact on how business scale. Now, with that, I want to say, I want to encourage you to go to our website. Uh, if you look at the bottom of the screen, you will see our website, pitchdeck101.org. You can call the numbers on the screen. Uh, you can schedule some time for us to talk about your business. We can do that, help check that diagnostic about your business. And then we can build the right systems that is going to really help you to build a strong brand. Uh, a brand that has relevant to your target markets. And how do you know all of this? When you use the absolute biodata markers that we are talking about, it is data driven. 
So you're able to use market research, you're able to gather critical information, and you're now able to analyze that inf that data and use that data in a manner that works to the advantage of your business. And that's why we're here. So feel free to reach out to us so we can start our conversation and ensure that we can take your business to the next level. Now, I wanted to ponder upon a few thoughts because in the next broadcast, I will look at this. There's a concept that we call the minimum viable offer. And I want you to think about this. You should know about this. Uh, we call it the MVO, the minimum viable offer, combined with the minimum viable target market, the MVTM, minimum viable target market. We will do a deep dive into these two concepts and to really help you to understand smarter ways in which you could introduce your business into the market, your brands into the market, and reduce the cost, the effort, and optimize the level of results that you want to achieve from your sales and marketing and efforts. So do look out for the next broadcast. To be on the safe side, I want to encourage you to like, subscribe, and share of this podcast. Press the bell so you will be first to be notified uh, when we are hosting this program so you can definitely benefit from it. Now, in the brief um, Pitch Deck 101, we are not only, you know, that institution that helps businesses to understand how to project themselves, but we are working with businesses to ensure that you get access to capital, meaning debt, equity, credit, creative financing, and hard money lending. We are working with our clients to ensure that you get access to markets. And we are truly working with our businesses to ensure that you understand how to seriously cash flow your operation. So we will talk a lot about financial instruments and how to leverage financial instruments to your advantage. It's one thing to buy a debt. It is quite another to know how to leverage that debt in a smart way. So you need to understand capital portfolios. You need to understand how to access capital portfolio. You need to understand how to leverage capital portfolio. Last but not least is how to mitigate this entire process. So over a period of time, the Pitch Deck 101 LLC brand will be working with you to really help you to understand this process. Again, this program comes to you with a kind compliments of Pitch Deck 101 LLC out of New York, Global Capital Inc. and 10 Expanded and Marketing. LLC out of New York. Be blessed and see you in the next broadcast.